Hello, Nevada County. This is Megan Lloyd, Adult Services Librarian at the Madeline Helling Library. Today, I'm going to go over how to find a cookbook using our digital resources, and then we're going to do a recipe together. So to get started, we uh, navigate to our website. That's mynevadacounty.com slash library. You'll see some numbers in there, but you don't have to type those in. You can just do slash library. Um, and to get started, uh, we can search the catalog that's going to come up with some of our digital resources, those pull-up resources from Anki, um, which you can also go to directly here from our digital resources drop-down menu. We also have Hoopla, which could possibly have um, some cookbooks, but I'm going to go to Library to Go. Um, and that's, that's going to take me to this uh, jumping off point, and from here it's going to take me to another another website. So if I click on the link, it takes us to our library to go website. Um, and you'll notice I, I'm not signed in right now. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Um, what you do, it says, welcome, please sign in and select your library. So I'm going to scroll down to find Nevada County Library and then I enter my card number. Now, if you don't have a card number, I'm going to take us back to our uh, main site here. If you don't have a card number, if you go to our digital resources main page, just click on digital resources at the top. You can uh, click here to get a digital digital library card and from there you can sign up for all of these things. So I'm going to sign in right now with my library card. And here I've signed in and you'll see right on top they have a, a big library read that they're pushing. They say Meet Libby, which is a an app you can use on your phone um, and you can download that and then get that on App Store, Google Play, or you can get it um, for your Windows computer on Microsoft uh, from the Microsoft Store. They have a bunch of uh, options for you, but I'm going to actually scroll back to the top and I'm going to click on the search bar and in there I'm going to search for baking because I want to bake something today. Um, and it comes up with all of the different options. You see at the top here, it has an available bar on the top, and that tells me that uh, these books are available. And if I want to, I can say only show me available now. So I'm gonna click available now, and then we can go through and see if we can't find something that looks, that looks interesting. Um, I think this one looks, looks like something that might have some interesting um, interesting recipes in there. So I'm going to go ahead and borrow that. And it says borrow for 21 days. You can choose less if you know you're not going to use it for that long. Um, and that's just if somebody else is waiting for it, they'll get it. They will get it a little bit faster. So I'm going to go ahead and borrow it for 21 days. Um, and then I can read now with Kindle. And you'll notice it pulls up Amazon on my computer, the Amazon website, and I'm already logged in, but it might ask you to log in if you haven't already. Um, and from here, you can just click Get Library Book. And there you have it. Now you can read now in Kindle Cloud Reader, and that'll open up the book. So Library to Go may give you some uh, different options for how you want to read the book. I had already set it up with the uh, read via Amazon Kindle, so it's it's having me go straight to the Kindle app because that's what I had originally asked for. So here we are looking at the cookbook, and this is Tasty Latest and Greatest Everything You Want to Cook, and this is what the, uh, the ebook looks like if you're opening it in a browser. So that book didn't actually have the recipes, the kind of recipes I was looking for. So I am going to go ahead and return it so that if somebody else wants it, they can have it immediately. So what I do is I went up and I clicked on the uh, bookshelf icon here and it brought me to uh, what uh, titles I have checked out and I'm just going to click return and that way somebody else can have access to it um, and I'm not holding it when I'm not using it. So I couldn't find the um, recipe I was looking for in their in their ebook, so I cheated and I searched their their website, the Tasty website, for uh, some mochi recipes. So what I'm going to do today, together with you, is uh, see if I can't make some mochi. The first thing I do when I'm starting a recipe is gather all the ingredients I'm going to need. So these are all the ingredients for my mochi, and these are also all of the tools that I need. So I have a few small bowls that I can uh, measure everything out in. I have a larger bowl and a 
lovely little uh, whisk that I can make. And then I have some uh, plastic food wrap and also a nice little fruit fruit bowl because uh, we always need fruit in my family. So this is this is what it looks like before I start. So the last part of step one was to cover our bowl with some cling wrap and then put it in the microwave for three minutes. So here is my mochi. It's turned out onto my my work surface here. If you don't have a good work surface, you can always use a cutting board. Um, it's what I used to do when I lived in apartments. Um, so it doesn't actually look all that appetizing, and it really doesn't smell all that appetizing either. But I did, did take a little nibble, and it does it does taste like mochi. Um, so I did turn it out onto some cornstarch, which I've dusted my work surface with, and then I have these little cups that I covered with some uh, cling film that I'm going to use to make some ice cream mochi. So I got this ice cream from a local grocery store. I really like it. It's it's kind of fun and it's it's matcha flavored too, matcha and fudge. So that'll be a good good um, mix for the inside of my, my mochi here. But for now I'm going to try and get this flat and ready to uh, put into my molds. Okay, so here is uh, the last few steps. So I cut the uh, mochi into the size that I want. I flatten it out. Um, honestly, I've been using my baby's bottle because I don't have a, a rolling pin. And then I put the flattened piece into uh, one of my molds. I scoop out a scoop of ice cream and here is my finished product. Mochi ice cream. Yum. Thanks everybody. Have a great day.